so let me introduce then our first speaker. Uh, our first speaker is Brigitte from Repair Cafe Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, Brigitte is the co-founder of uh, Repair Cafe Aotearoa, New Zealand. Apologies if I got the pronunciation a little wrong there, Brigitte. Um, the network started a couple of years ago and has quickly spread throughout New Zealand. Uh, and they now have a lot of repair cafes on both islands. Um, and they do a lot of work to include as many different communities as possible. Uh, and it is this inclusive approach to building a network of repair that Brigitte will touch on today. The network is also actively involved in campaigning for the right to repair within Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, and they've had some recent success actually uh, on this front. So Brigitte will also cover some of that. Uh, so without further ado, let me hand over to Brigitte um, and enjoy FixFest. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for the lovely introduction, James. I really appreciate that. And lovely to meet you all. I can't see your faces, but I'm sure you know um, you will connect in some way today. So yes, um, I live in Aotearoa, New Zealand, um, which is uh, way down you know, in the Pacific. Um, I'm originally from Germany, and I've lived here now for many, many years. Um, and I was very fortunate enough, you know, to um, join the repair movement. So today I'll be um, sharing with you some of, um, you know, what we've been developing. And I have a PowerPoint presentation, which I start off with. And um, so I'll bring this up now. So here you can see these are our beautiful islands. And um, this is a um, map that was actually um, created by one of our collaborators. And they allowed us to have a um, sub um, function there with repair cafes. And you can see that repair cafes are growing all across both islands. And um, if I can, then I will also maybe share a um, little journey with you through this map. So can you see, can somebody tell me if you can see um, the website? It looks good now? to me, Brigitte. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. So um, where I am here is in Auckland, Tamaki Makaurau. Um, and so you can see that there are lots of little repair cafes. Um, and then right, uh, right up north as well. Oops, I should be coming up. And then we'll go further down. And then there is Wellington. This is our capital. They've got a lot of repair cafes as well. They're not always popping up because um, I think my Zoom is a little slow. <laughs> and um, then we have some in the South Island as well, as you saw in the lovely um, image we had before. So I'm going back to my PowerPoint, which is a better, shows the image a little bit better. Um, now, what... Um, James mentioned that uh, when we started, um, this was actually just shortly before the um, pandemic. So um, which led us to that we uh, basically focused on networking and exploring you know, our place you know, within the zero waste and um, education sector, um, yeah, and business sector as well. So we are um, still not very well funded and we also have no legal status at this point, so therefore we are umbrellaed by the Zero Waste Network. Um, so this is the national organization, and these are all the little repair cafes that we um, support in being established and running. Um, one of the important things that uh, is here in Aotearoa is that uh, we, our indigenous people, Maori, um, are very important you know, in our country. And we do have a treaty um, that um, encourages partnership. Uh, and uh, so in our organization, we um, developed a partnership agreement between the Zero Waste uh, Maori organization Parakore and Rebecca for Aotearoa New Zealand. And uh, <clears throat> I'd like to go to the next slide. There we are, that's right. So this is the treaty. There's actually an English and a Maori version, and they differ. Um, so in our country, um, our country does have a colonial history. 
And um, so where we are within the zero waste um, network and culture, we are actually um, intending and attempting to develop true partnerships, which means that we need to learn a lot, learn a lot about the treaty and the history and, um, and make amendments and uh, put history right. So how uh, Rebecca for Aotearoa works with this is that we actually um, applied for some funding through Auckland Council to run workshops for free for our Rebecca Fair organizers and volunteers. Uh, and um, but basically offer education about the Tikiriti or Waitangi and the history um, of Aotearoa, New Zealand. And another way of um, bringing um, Māori um, knowledge and um, history into Wipeka phase is by introducing Te Reo, this is the language. Um, so we developed some resources where we are actually um, identifying the Māori word, Nakuku Māori, for an English work of the repair. So, whakapai, te whakapai pahikara, so bicycle repair, for example. So, and this is a very um, gentle and um, interesting way of introducing te reo Māori and Māori culture into um, our repair cafe culture. Um, so. Coming back to this network, um, yes, we have the little repair cafes and we are often, um, they're often taking place like all over the world, I guess, you know, in council buildings or in public libraries, yeah, little community uh, places and so forth. And also in educational centers, as well as in community recycling centers. This is something that we are developing here, in particular in Tamaki Makaura, Auckland, where we are introducing repair cafes into a recycling center, which is a perfect opportunity, you know, to have the goods that have been donated uh, be repaired and then be distributed among lower socioeconomic um, groups or be, to be able to be purchased for, purchased for a lower price, but in very good condition. So here you see like some fun, like you see all, all around the world, you know, about repair cafes. And we have different communities. We also have a strong Chinese community, community and young people. Um, yeah, so from all walks of life. This is something that we um, did as a group of repair cafe organizers from different repair cafes in the Valentine region, um, where we all came together and we attended a festival for the future, which is a festival that is held here in New Zealand um, for young people, um, where we look at um, what is the vision, you know, what are the options, what are the possibilities. And we had a stall there with some um, people visiting us and um, some fixing was going on, repairing and mending. And um, young people getting young people excited about repair. And it was really, really fun and interesting. And we um, have a lot of young people signed up for our newsletter and also um, interested in starting a repair, repair cafe in their own um, country or local, uh, local community. So this is something that we would like to encourage that the um, regional repair cafes come together and um, enjoy each other's company, get to learn uh, from each other, and also share resources and so forth. It was very successful. Now here, I would like to show you like how we are embedded in a wider zero waste network. And these are some statistics, statistics from early this year. And uh, you can see that we are here as well. At this point, it's 32 repair cafes, which has grown beyond 40 by now. And so we are measuring, like you all, of, most of you are, um, looking at data, and uh, which contributes to the um, amount of waste that, that can be um, avoided. <clears throat> and also um, and looking at workshops and education that we can offer in regards to repair and zero waste and environmental care. So it's, we are very fortunate to be able to embed it in such um, wide supportive networks. Ah, yeah. So now I'm talking about a, a little exercise we did for the past two weeks, in fact, 
due to lack of funding, we um, decided to do some crowdfunding just for two weeks. So we participated in some training and ran this on a give a little on a little website. Um, and uh, we actually raised within two weeks 10,000 or well, almost 11,000 uh, New Zealand dollars, which is quite a lot for us. So, uh, and the intention is to um, get special tools, you know, storage spaces and special education and training for repairers and volunteers, and also some more resources and um, promotional resources as well. So that would be very really interesting for us to do as a community to um, share um, these donations among our peer cafes. Um, I must say that um, these repair cafe organizers, they get they know each other very well because we also run um, Zoom meetings um, where we meet and we chat and um, we exchange um, ideas and experiences and so forth. And we are intending to um, write our own manual together sometime next year as well. Coming back to this, um, I just like to mention that we are also have a strong relationship with um, repair businesses and Consumer New Zealand, which is an organization that um, looks after consumers. You know, they're offering a lot of information about products and um, they are also together uh, involved with us in the right to repair movement, um, which I am going to be talking about next. Um, Oops. So here we are, we um, put together a petition. So I um, need, to, need to tell you that uh, we do not have a right to repair legislation currently in Aotearoa, New Zealand. So this will be the first time this will be introduced. And we had a um, petition uh, that ran over a few months, not too long, and reached um, 13 and a half thousand um, signatures, which we were very pleased with. And here are some um, action in um, two cities, Wellington and Christchurch, Utatahi, um, where we are drawing attention to the need um, for repair. We were also fortunate to be able to deliver our petition to the Minister for the Environment, David Parker, and this is the previous Minister for the Environment, Eugene Sage, and some other politicians are in this um, photo, as well as Paul from Consumer New Zealand. Um, Yes, yeah, so uh, this was a proud moment of ours to um, be able to deliver the petition. And we now have been invited to uh, write a submission uh, and we'll be speaking to it um, to a select committee sometime soon. Um, I'm going to share something else with you now. And um, here we are. So if we look at the right to repair, um, we actually have currently some limitations to other uh, laws, and this needs to be addressed. And this is some one of um, the appendices that we are adding to the um, submission. So the Copyright Act, uh, Trademarks Act, Consumer Guarantees Act, Waste Modernization Act, Disputes Tribunal, Patents Act, Designs Act, and also Fair Trading Act. So there are a few acts that um, we are requesting the government to review. And um, <clears throat> so this will be very interesting conversations um, to have. And we'll be sharing them with you, I'm, I'm sure, no doubt. Um, so now the next opportunity to meet up with us is at uh, International Repair Day. Last year, we actually launched um, Repair Cafe Aotearoa on International Repair Day, as well as our petition um, officially. And this year we have um, what we call the repair show, where we um, have a lot of case studies, um, also a little bit of research into the experience of repair volunteers, and um, yes, and some live streaming of, uh, I think we've got about seven events maybe happening throughout the country on that day. Yeah, and um, yeah, it will be just so much fun. So if you're around and if you're not doing your own thing, so please join us, and we'll be fantastic to have you there. And lastly, I would like to thank you for your attention. Um, and I'm very I'm happy to have conversations with you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for that presentation, Brigitte.
Uh, that's really interesting and really inspiring to kind of hear about all the work that, you, that you're doing, um, particularly presenting the petition to the environment minister. What, what an amazing moment, actually. Yeah. Um, does anyone have any questions for Brigitte about the work um, that they do in uh, Aotearoa, New Zealand? Comments will be fine as well. Mm. Uh, we have a question from Mike. Um, we have, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, shall we enable video and audio yeah. for, for this? I think we're a small group. I think it's probably yeah, a good exactly. idea. Sounds yeah. great. Mm -hmm. uh, one second, Mike, I will give you permission. Um, okay, Mike, yeah, you should have permission to share uh, your video and audio now. Yep, I've got an audio, as it were, unmuted. Uh, good. Well, is it evening or for you, Brigitte, or morning? It's evening. Yeah. Probably very late. Uh, <laughs> um, no, that was great. That was really great to see. And it sounds like you've got a kind of, you know, a real kind of head of steam to what you're kind of doing. I just wondered very practically, jumping in, if that's all right, um, um, your fundraising looked as though it kind of exceeded your expectations. So I'm just wondering what thoughts you have um, around the kind of messaging you used um, and kind of what worked well and, you know, any discussions you had before about how to present the, the ask and why it went so well, apparently, against your expectations. So just anything that would be helpful for us. Yeah, I'm very happy with, uh, to share this with you, Mike. Um, we're actually going to write a report about this. Uh, it just finished yesterday, so, um, you know, so, <laughs> um, but um, I guess, you know, we underwent some training on crowdfunding, so, and we got together a group of um, several Repair Cafe organizers, so, uh, which we haven't worked together with, but there's something quite exciting with different skills, so I basically put out a um, Google form with the skills that I was expecting from such working group, and so people put this together, so that gave us a good start. Uh, we all attended the training and then um, we developed resources. Um, I have one um, young woman who's uh, supporting me um, part-time um, and we developed the um, social media aspect of it. I guess we also had our um, already make it our right to repair petition supporters, which we could access. Yeah. Um, we, um, we are a small country, so we are quite well known in what we're doing and we developed quite quickly. So, uh, and that has been noticed. So I think um, everyone was quite curious to see what we do. Um, yeah, and this is the real momentum now going um, towards um, community repair and can, yeah, repair communities, I think. I don't want to crowd out other people with questions, but I just wonder what the ask was. Was it kind of, we're a good thing, give us some money, or did you have a kind of specific Give us yes, money yeah. if we get to seven and a half thousand yeah. dollars, then we can achieve. I just wondered how the dynamic of the ask, as it were. Yes. Yeah. The specifics were, you know, like um, spe um, special tools, um, yeah. also promotional material um, and um, uh, storage space. Okay. And yeah, yeah. just so really I'm, practical things, you yeah. know, that apply. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I like to, yeah. Pleasure. Thank you, Mike. I'm happy to talk more and share the report with you too. Um, now, in regards to Maori, yes, uh, we have been invited to um, bring Repair Cafe to Maori um, marae and um, organizations as well. So this is something we'll be doing next year, and there will be some research around this as well to look where the two um, kind of kaupapa principles and uh, ways of doing things meet. So um, yeah, so this is the idea. So we have been invited, you know, and uh, we will explore, you know, um, what is suitable and um, appropriate. If that answers your question, Panda. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I believe we now have a question from Elias. Uh, Elias, do you want to use your uh, camera and microphone or would you prefer to use the chat? Thank, thank, thank you, Brigitte, for your presentation. I greet every, everybody here. I hear you, and I want to ask uh, two questions. The first is, uh, how do you 
make to make to make uh, your uh, repair cafe safe safety. Did you use uh, assurance? So sorry. How did you did you make your repair cafe? I think the safe, safe, safety for security in the area. I think it's about health and safety. So how do you make sure repair cafes are safe? Um, repairing electrical appliances, is that right, Ilias? And do you use yes, insurance yes. at your events? Yes. This is the same like um, with the international repair cafe manual. We follow those principles and ethics. Mm. And we have um, registered electricians with us as well. Mm. Okay, because uh, in, in Benin, Sometimes uh, authority come in our organization to to stop our activity because uh, we we don't have uh, paid assurance service. So mm, yes. I want to know if it is the uh, same thing in uh, New Zealand. Mm. Yeah, Elias, um, I totally understand uh, the situation. And what I'm actually doing, I have contacted the uh, New Zealand Electrical Workers Board, and uh, I am requesting, you know, some um, information in writing about, you know, um, how uh, they view, you know, the operation of repair cafes in regards to electrical repair. And I think that's probably the best way to go about it. You know, so oh. you have this official. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. you know, I mean, yeah. This, this, I know. The second question, is uh you say that you do fundraising mm. is it because uh you want to make uh, a several action or because uh, you want to to because of you you need money for your activities in africa particularly in benin People who make reparation made people pay. It is not free. So is it because uh, that's uh, you want you do fundraising? We fundraise for specific tools, you know, or special tools, you know, so special screwdrivers, for example, you know, to open a, a device, for example. Yes, or um, you know, special machinery, um, storage space, because they're pop-up repair cafes, so storage is sometimes, you know, a difficulty. And um, yeah, and also promotional material, or maybe a flag, you know, things like that. And also setting up more repair cafes as well. Mm. So that's okay. what we are, the practical, practical things that we are we're, okay, we're, we're okay. for. Mm. I um, understand now. But uh, I want to, to ask uh, the last question, Will it be possible to do fundraising for another uh, group uh, for for repair across the uh, uh, world in 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 New Zealand? Maybe we can we can um, exchange emails and we can talk about this another time. Elias, would that be all right? Okay, okay. And we are very because, happy to, uh, you know, to look into this for you. Mm. Oh, so excuse my English, it is bad, but uh, I want to express uh, right. what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's great. I'm just aware that my time is up. It's uh, 9 30. So, um, yeah, and the next presenter will be ready. So, um, okay. I'll, be very, I'll be very happy, you know, to um, email with you and have a conversation this way about fundraising. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, James. Yeah, thank you for your questions. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you everybody for your questions and thank you so much, Brigitte, for talking us through um, the work that you do. It's really, really interesting um, and really valuable to have um, an insight into how community repair and your campaigning work in uh, Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, Brigitte, thank you.